Peace and blessings. I am Minister Mustafa Abdul Haq Abdullah of the Third Church of Jerusalem, House of Prayer, Temple of God, and also the chairman of the God, Truth, and Love political party. I know this is several weeks old, but um, something really came to mind the other day, and I'm not sure what it is that triggered it, but I really started thinking about the quote, the statement that John McCain, Senator John McCain had made once again several weeks back in which he said that our troops lives were wasted over there in Iraq, those who have lost their lives. And like I said, I started thinking about it and and I ask you, is that not true? Is that not true that those troops who have lost their life over in Iraq, that it was wasted? You know, I, want, I know that we want to say that, uh, that they sacrificed their life, you know, and want to use a euphemism, but that's all it is. Being truthful to the fact that these troops went over there to support a cause, to serve their duty, and to fight for the country and follow the orders of their leader supposedly for a specific reason but now but now after fact knowing the truth that this leader lied to them and led them astray and they still lost their life for this lie then wasn't their life wasted they're gone. You know, as far as we know, they won't be back. They die, f if you die for a lie, fighting for a lie, then isn't it a waste? And I mean, fully put in the context of how precious life is, how great life is. Truly and fully understanding the wonder and the glory, the fact that we exist. You know, we're not going to be here for that long. If you hit 100 years old, then you're doing great. You know, it's almost a miracle. The average lifespan is what, 70 something? Of course, it all depends on you know your your race and from what part of the world you're from, but it's a short time. And if you shorten that length by not dying from natural causes, by putting your life on the line for something, and that's something turns out to be a lie, to be not worth anything, then didn't it just make your sacrifice worthless and a waste? I truly believe so. I've known people who had died in Iraq. I had a neighbor who was killed over in Iraq back in 2003. He left behind three children. I have a, a young man on my middle school basketball team whose father is leaving this very week to go to Iraq. But now that that old lie has passed, we're still suffering the consequences of that lie. We're still follow, following through on that lie because now we're there. So all lives that are lost 
are still for that lie. And that is a waste. God bless. Peace and love.